Well, and here it is. Is the fourth and final movie in the Equestria Girls little series from My Little Pony. What's up, guys? This is me, Connor Kursavi, and welcome back to an and welcome back to another movie review. This time, I am finally going to be reviewing the fourth and final movie in the Equestria Girl series. It's titled Legend of Everfree. Right, so, so if you have not watched it uh, in my my previous three reviews on on the first three films, I would say the the main six, uh, as they have done on the the big dance and the battle of the bands, and the core was the Trinship games, uh, games, and and what was the one thing? I mean, I mean they're going to do for the fourth movie? Me? Oh, I know, sweep away camp, uh, camp. So here we are, our Legend of Everfree. I would tell you, how could well, this movie be di different uh, than in the first three films? Uh, um, so I guess we're about to find out. Oh, and spoiler or, or warning by the head. Uh, by the way, if you have not seen the film uh, um, yet, what? All right, so the uh, the film um, um starts uh, starts with at Twilight Stream, uh, and when she was sleeping inside the bus, uh, inside the school bus, and on her on her way to Camp Everfree, free. and guess what? That Twilight, uh, right in that dream, Twilight that uh, she is that she is that she is has overswept, uh, and then she is missing out on the Camp Everfree, free. Wait, and this is where her trends friends came. Him. Him so so Twilight had to get ready. Wait, but but then all of a sudden when when Twilight sees it means the mirror, her mirror, and when guess what? Right. I will tell you who this so after turning into midnight I'd sparkle at the end of Trinship Games. I'm so oh, and that that midnight sparkle that she is a part of of Twilight, right in her dream. So so midnight sparkle uses is her magical powers, hers to make Twilight's trance friends disappear. Her and then Twilight woke up oh, when Pinkie Pie told her to wake up up. Up and that, and and she and Twilight realize it's just a dream. Eh? I mean, so, oh yeah, that that I guess, I guess I did not care about 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 the opening scene. I mean, I want to once our main seven when get hit their her to camp ever free, and this is where they discover their powers. Hers, Twilight can and and move things, things with things with. with with her magical powers, uh, Pinkie Pie, I can summon and out, out those glitter bombs. Uh, AJ, when he has po powerful strength, uh, right? Rainbow Dash can go very fast. Uh, and Farsha, I can speed make, make the animals. Uh, and Rarity can summon su I mean, out those crystals. Uh, those, uh, those out of nowhere. And then Sunset Shimmer uh, can read minds. Uh, Things. And those are the powers for our main seven. When, so, oh, it was like this character of the film, the camp's owner, her Gloriosa, uh, that she was originally a good, but a trend we character, her, her one once we saw her, her at 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 the beginning. I mean, I mean, and this is where her she wa wants her camp to be be perfect, and what. And what once care what high high students get there. All right, so there's also the one one scene I just did not care her in the film um, of of Gloriosa that uh, that she ha has those magical gem MD in these and that that made her turn evil. And this is where they're in the scene in inside the cave when Twilight and Sunset Shimmer are are looking for Gloriosa. But then they found her, and then that she 
he he ha has more of the power. So, oh uh, so oh oh oh, oh Gloriosa can use use her magic to uh, use those finds. I uh, the the tree finds. I uh, that that end up a uh, kidnapping. Uh, we bought twilight and sunset. A uh, uh, shimmer. And by closing in the cave, and by using the big rock dinghy, and by blocking the cave from the inside, right? And so that that Gloriosa, that right, she uses her ma all of her magic finds, right, to kidnap up all the students, right, including Principal Celestia. Huh. So I will tell you, I'm not, I'm not a fan of Gloriosa's as evil design. But I do prefer her her normal design. I'm much better. Her so, so all right, right. So after Spike, I got the finds, finds of of a Twilight and Sunset Shimmer. Her so so the so Sunset Shimmer. Her wants Twilight to use her magic. Went to move this mat to move the big rock dinghy that size, a big size. So she did this. Yes. Yes. And, and she, I know that she was feeling that she still has midnight sparkle inside her mind. I mean, so, oh. No, during in the scene, this is where that that rarity can't can't, can't use her her crystal protect at the protecting the. Yeah. Me too much longer because that uh, Gloriosa, uh, that she he he is try trying to to cover up the camp, the entire camp, and with a bunch of finds. Uh, and, and Sunset Shimmer, her her was like, Twilight, there is no midnight sparkle. It's only you. What? You. When guess what? During in the scene that Twilight, when she is becoming a midnight sparkle, but when she tried to. Uh, and then Sunset Shimmer is like, You are not Midnight Sparkle! What? Oh, that. And guess what? That, what, the, what that Twilight side to save the day. Hey, but I get in the gems. And guess what? Now our main seven when has those powerful powers. So, so they could stalk Gloriosa. Huh. Uh, to go make things go back to normal. Oh. And guess what? This was a really good scene, I mean, in my opinion. And guess what? I do think the ending I mean, is alright. I have. Uh, right. So. Oh, and guess what? There's also the one post credit scene, I mean, right after the credits. That's. That's well, if I'll show you this anyway. The post credit scene, I mean, which is funny. Yeah, I gotta say, this one, this was a funny post credit scene in the film. Um, right after the end credits. Right, and, and guess what, that Pinkie Pie that she accidentally brought up off the dog. Fuck. So, yeah, I gotta say, this this was a funny post credit scene in the film. Film. Alright, so let me give you, let me give you my thoughts on the film. Alright, so the characters are decent. Right? I know how that... That they try to give uh, that Twilight I love interest uh, in this film. You know? And I do think the characters are good. Uh, but including Gloriosa, not counting her evil design. Fine. Fine. And I do think the story is pretty decent, my too. So I guess this this is an average film for me. I, mean, I know I did say a lot of things about this film. Um, so, if you like the idea uh, of a uh, Twilight uh, and her friends, uh, friends going on a camp, uh, then this, this might be a good uh, movie for you. You. So, I I I think it's pretty decent. So, I would give it a six out of ten because I feel sorry for it. Uh, because I was I decided to put it this in the average category. All right, so. 
Now that's it for my, my review on, on the fourth and final movie in the Equestria Girl series. Reese. So, and guess what? I kind of enjoyed this film. Um, there are some scenes I like, some scenes I just did not care for. And guess what? I, I think it's average, so there's not much I can say. Alright, so that's it. But like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notification bell so you don't miss out on, on, on my, my final on my Little Pony movie review, which is the one that's coming next week, is this West movie from 2017. So I'll, I'll be making a review about this film um, um, sometime next week. Wait, so make sure to turn on the notification bell if you want to see me do a review of, uh, of the final movie of the My Little Pony franchise. That's from 2017. I mean, based on friendship is magic, like so. So just turn on notifications so you so you don't miss on that. Whatever it comes out, out on the next week. So anyway, play. I'll see you next time. Bye.